Hello guys, uh, this is Jeffrey. Now I'm gonna show this uh, NXP NX103 OB2 car diagnosis scanner. And this is a scanner using the Wi-Fi technology and uh, it's communicates via the uh, iPhone and the Android. And this little thing can check the engine related issues and display the parameters in lifetime. And here is gonna check for the package. So you can see the package is pretty decent and very uh, easy to read. We're gonna have some software at the back. And also here we say it's compatible with the iOS, Android, and Windows platform. And this is the packaging for it. So once we take it out, we have uh, something like this. And it's gonna be another user menu, which is uh, uh, in the packages coming along with the package. And once we check in the user menu, you find it's very small, but it's pretty useful because we can have some software links here, and also this uh, multi languages uh, user menu. From this user menu, we can see this uh, there's the English version and also this uh, Russian version OBD2 user guidelines. So this is very useful. So just skip here, and let's check this uh, scanner. And this is the. Uh, version 1.5 is using it's using the uh, uh, Wi-Fi as the communication method. So here's the pins. Also inside, this is a uh, well made it. It has the uh, uh, 25K80 uh, chipset inside. It's the most stable version. So it's uh, compatible with the iOS as well as the uh, Android. So I prepared for two phones to check it. So. First, we need to check. We need to find located the OBD2 port, which is underneath. So once we put it in, you see this uh, LED lights coming on, and we're gonna search. We're gonna test it with our Android first. So we're going to use the Wi-Fi, not the Bluetooth. You see, I uh, you find the next peak. This has already been connected, so I've just tested it before. So let's check the uh, ELM identifier to see what's happening. So we're gonna select the Wi-Fi, and we see the version. And this is the version 1.5, as you can see here, all the commands, all the results, this is showing pretty good. So we can also use this uh, to check with the torque. So when you go to check with the torque, you need to change your settings because there are so many versions that are different that you set before. You should connect. You should choose here, not the Bluetooth, but switch to the Wi-Fi. And there's nothing to choose, just exit, exit, exit. So in order to fax effective, make this effective, I will just exit and we log in. And you see here, I'm gonna check the uh, adapter status again. You can see what happened. Yes, it's communicated to the card. And here's what it's showing. So this is also version 1.5 from the software. You can see there's a maximum and the vehicle manufacturers and also there's a VIN code for my car. Here's the parameters that I exported. So let's check for the uh, real-time information. So you can see this is the engine speed that is running with the uh, Real time changes is the Ryan readiness. Also, you can use this too to go for a full code reading. So, once I tap on it, it's gonna request the full codes from your car computer. It's gonna take a while, but it's a uh, it's pretty fast communicated. So, so, I'm gonna text it on my uh, iPhone 6. Uh, it's an iPhone 7, so uh, this is the iPhone 7, and I'm gonna I'm gonna connect it with the uh, next pick. So it's very fast for communications. It's unsecured, but it's uh, it's no problem. You can download this software. It's a uh, car car diagnostics and auto auto doctors, and there are multiple. Uh, you can also get the software from this uh, QR code, or you can also find it from your uh, user menus, which is uh, like this uh, open dike or dash command. It's just all. Also, some may be take little ch charges, but this is understandable. You can use the auto doctors after your uh, Wi-Fi is connected. You can see it's uh, automatically 
link to our adapters. It, it is uh, analyzing, connecting. And later, we display all these uh, parameters. So you can see it's connected. Here we can see this is the intake air temperature and also this uh, current temperatures. And here's the uh, engine RPM. You can also use the uh, full code to read it. And also, there's a lot of information to display. And so you can use it for the iron redness check and the sensors in real times. So uh, you can also switch to the ECM or the other parts for this. So that's what I, what I use it for. Also, you can use the auto OBD doctors, OBD car doctors. So you can see it's a time to uh, connect it. So I'm not sure if I can just connect with the with the previous softwares. Close, I'm gonna close the first softwares. So you, you can see it directly go, go to the connections. So you can see it's using the Wi-Fi. And also there's some parameters. So this is a pretty good software, it's also for free. If you need the high version, you can buy the uh, Top Pro or the Dash Command, which is around uh, $10. So here's the things. When you're doing the communications, you can also check out adapters. It should be blinking and it's uh, very fast communications. So here we, here's the other things about this uh, Wi-Fi OBD2 card diagnosis scanner. Just hope you can like it.